typical Balkan breakfast coffee and rakia in Albania they call it raki which is a homemade distilled ethanol from grapes in uh, other Yugoslav countries rakia can be made from such things as apricot and also from plums which is very tasty as well and it's sold like this one uh, half liter of what they call living water but it's definitely not just water and uh, yeah goes for about three dollars three hundred back favorite meals to make for breakfast is menemen a delightful Turkish dish where you peel the tomato and dice up the peppers and then fry them in a pan for a long time until they melt and then you add the eggs yes so you see we have the tomato diced and the peppers diced nice and small into the oil they go delicious oh. I love this food so much it's one of my absolute favorites of Turkish breakfast and the Turkish breakfast is one of my absolute favorites of any cultural breakfast and the menemen is like one of the supreme delights of the Turk of Altesir. You let it cook for a really long time before you add the eggs. It really needs to saturate all of the flavors uh, and caramelize. And the slower and the longer the menemen takes to brew, the more delicious it tastes. No doubt because you're also a bit hungry, smelling the food and waiting for such a long time. And, but it's delicious in its own right. But the, the longer and slower it stews together, the flavors are so amazing. What a delight. This is also a nice little trick for when you're using the fire. You can take a piece of pipe, this one is plastic, but it can also be metal. And you pinch the end so that it's a, a small seam and that way it creates a jet of air. Of course, if you don't have such a pipe, the other technique that I really like is one where you, it's called the diamond. And you make a diamond between your fingers like this and you can blow and it creates a jet of air. salt to draw out the liquids and we will let this take its time Yeah. 
that's a good sign. What's going on in here? Okay, things are stewing very nicely. But not to the level which we desire. Not yet. It's almost time to add the eggs. We've got these nice farm fresh eggs. Usually higher quality and cruelty free, you know. Yeah. I don't like to think of chickens being cooped up slaves. But they do just make these all the time. And if they're treated humanely, there's no problem to eat some eggs, I think. I'm not an expert at this, but I think maybe four eggs for two tomatoes is a pretty good ratio. What you making, Leo? I'm making kind of bread. And this oil, coconut oil, is very good for holding high temperatures. So that's the frying is very good. And tasty. Yeah. Let's do it. Put it all together and what do you got? Delicious. Ideally there's still a little bit of liquid left. So it has a kind of soupy quality. And then you dip the bread inside after. But again, I'm not Turkish, I'm not an expert, so probably someone will disagree with what I'm doing. And that's okay. I'm learning. Some people put onion in the menemen. I like onion, but I do also enjoy the pure tomato pepper mix. Try to keep it from sticking. Maybe this is kind of ASMR. And I think cover it and remove oops, from the heat and let it kind of cook a little bit more together and there we go Just put it with a little bit of toast, and we'll be set. Is it stuck? No. Nice. <laughs> yeah.
So the traditional way to eat the men and men is to keep it in one pot. And then you have a piece of bread. You break off your piece of bread. And you dip it. And try not to breathe any smoke. Let's see how it tastes. Careful, it's probably very hot. Yeah. Happy at Olsen. Enjoy your meal. And that's another thing to consider uh, the Turkish breakfast, Turkavaltesu, uh, is like not complete without some strong black tea. Alright, let's try this other bread before the menemen is completely gone. Dense. Tasty. And there you have it, folks. Delicious homemade bread. Delicious, almost finished menemen. It's really a nice way to eat some food. good so worth the wait the longer you wait the hungrier you are and the tastier it will be yes the perfect end to a Turkish breakfast the black tea but you can see it's not dark red in Turkey they call the dark red tea when it's very strong they call it Tavşan Kana which means rabbit blood. And this isn't quite rabbit blood, but because we don't have much black tea here in Albania, it's hard to find. This will do. Thank <laughs> you. 